What's up, y'all? Z Vile back with another video, and today I'm going to be going over five quality of life changes that we still don't have in GTA 5 online 10 years fucking later. 10 fucking years, we still don't have these simple quality of life changes. Now, I'm gonna just save y'all time, not waste y'all time. It's great to the video. Now, first thing first, I want to say is passive mode. The passive mode is outdated. It's shit terrible. Scrap it. I want a new passive mode. A passive mode where we could actually use our guns or just defend ourselves from random NPCs. Because if you know, you can't use your weapons uh, to defend yourself from anyone. NPCs, players, which is obvious for players, but NPCs is like crazy. Like, if, if a cop pull on me and just shoot me, I can't do nothing. I just have to die. I have to take it. You know what I'm saying? So I will actually like an option for us to use our weapons in passive mode. Now, there's actually a passive mode esque like feature in the game which is called ghost mode and it's basically where you could just go ghost from one person at a time and you can just use your weapons but you're only ghost from that person why can't they just make it an overall feature set you could just go ghost from literally everyone and still use your weapons and do the things you want while being interrupted by other fucking nonsense ass branded ass fucking players now when it comes to limitations there's obviously gonna be a pvp limitation you can't use your weapons against other players but however you could actually just use your like i said before you just use your weapons against npcs you can't participate in any player versus player uh, uh events so like free events anything where you have to do with your business business battles like that it's off limits but you can still just roam around and have that or not have that feeling of actually being limited to actually playing the game you know what i'm saying so update the passive mode please all right this next one they actually changed this recently but they didn't do it they had to ask it this is going to be eating snacks faster and what i mean by this is you have an option to eat your snacks faster while in the vehicle don't go to the interaction menu go to inventory go to snacks all that bullshit it actually includes armor too. Just have a button to where you can actually eat your snacks faster while you're in the car. This will make it way easier from when you're getting fucking lit up by the cops in like a heist and you don't have to go through 16,000 menus to pull up your fucking snack option and then have to press X over and over and over again. And the same thing with the fucking armor. Just have an option to where we just eat snacks faster. I'm gonna fucking choked out. <laughs> That's why I paused. Just have an option where we, where we just eat snacks faster in the cars, bro. It's just like, just that simple. Just Rockstar. Just fix this. Come on, come on. What the fuck are we doing? Now, the next one. Fast traveling. Now, what I mean by this, there's multiple transportation ways when it comes to going around the map in GTA. You use your cab. You have the metro bus. You have the train. You also have an actual bus station, like a Greyhound bus station that is not used. Like, what the fuck? We already got fast travel for our boats, like the Kasaka, the fucking super yacht. But the fast travel options are terrible because they're all in the fucking water. Like, what the fuck? Why can't you make a fast travel option for the goddamn land vehicles, bro? Like I said, the fucking subway train? Like, bro, no one rides the subway because that shit is terrible. You can't fast travel in that. Same thing with the cab. No one calls up the taxi because you can't fast travel. You got to fucking get into a car and then you have to wait there and let that man drive you across the map while you're hitting that fucking domestic music. That de -de 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 -de. Not racist shit. That shit go hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be racist. That shit does go hard indeed. But come on, bro. I'm not trying to sit here two minute fucking drive just to like to get killed by some a person mark two griefer like that shit is terrible like come on rockstar update the fast travel please all right next up we got requesting resupplies from the actual business assistance now what i mean by that is i mean uh agent 14 ljt especially that fucking annoying ass motherfucker that motherfucker be blowing my phone about business shit but i can't even call the motherfucker back he always calling me and texting me but i can't even call the nigga back like what the fuck as we know, if you own an acid lab, you can call up Mutt to request your guy or request supplies for your acid lab. But you can't do that with any other business. You can't do that shit. And why? Especially for the MC business, because you can own up to five of them, and you got you gotta go to each one to fucking resupply it. Now I know, oh, just buy the master control center. Who wants to go buy that bullshit? Like, and plus I have to go to my arcade to fucking uh do that shit like i don't want to go to my fucking arcade every single time i want to resupply my business and then risk resupply my business because i gotta sign it as an mc to resupply my mc business like no fuck that let us like make it a way where we just call them up and just request supplies bro like please now this one is super fucking annoying 
the limitations on being a MC or a CEO in public lobbies. It feels like everyone in the, any public lobby, especially on next gen, has something to do with the CEO. And most of the time, the motherfuckers are not doing shit. The motherfuckers are just in a closed door, getting closed. They just want to be in the CEO or MC just to be in that bitch. Like, they're not actually doing nothing. So can we raise the limits off of fucking CEO? Because back then, that shit was like, it was, it was reasonable. Because back then, you had to have a million dollars to even be a VIP. And there was only, I think it was like a, only like a limit you could do every single day. Now, all you have to do is own fifty thousand dollars, and I'm pretty sure there's no fucking limit. So you could just be a, a, a VIP forever, as long as you don't unregister. You just be a fucking VIP forever. That makes zero sense, bro. Because these low levels are not even doing shit. They're just like, oh, I'm gonna be a VIP. Oh, I'm gonna register as a CEO. Oh, I'm gonna register as an MC president, and roam around the streets of Los Angeles, get killed. I might leave an hour later. Like, no, bro. Like, you're not doing shit. Like, I'm over here getting my ass kicked by sixteen trials. I'm over here getting manhandled by uh, XX. Hex and fucking barcode over here, and I can't use my BST because uh, Jim Jones uh, 420XX is in a CEO just roaming around the streets shooting at police and shit. Like, motherfucker, unregister so I can like, have a chance to fight these bitches. But that's really about it for this video, Rockstar. Everything I say right here is facts. Like, everything I say in this fucking video is facts. Like, just add it into the game. Like, please. It's, you can just do, a, like, one update. You you just came up with a shitty update. The last update was shit. Just make a better update. And bring us, like, bring us something. Damn, I can't fucking talk. Give us something that we actually want in the game. Said this bullshit ass fucking update you gave us. Like, the best thing out that shit was, like, the fucking jet. And that shit is kind of mid. I don't lie. But, bro, please. Just give us what we want. And that's about it. It's your boy Zvo, guys. Uh, oh yeah, give me the 2000 subs. I've been stuttering around a lot. I have to like cut my song off or something. Actually, YouTube, I'm not cutting my song off. Only in GTA, I cut my song off. Um, it's crazy, but yeah, subscribe, man. I'm out.